So you want to do yoga, but you don't know where to begin. Well, first of all, congratulations for doing something, deciding to do something for your body, as well as your mind and your spirit, because yoga is for all of those things. So what you first need to do is to get out there into your community. So find out when the local classes are running and get yourself into a class. There are um, places that maybe offer a trial period or a trial class um, for free, or you get your money back once you um, take a couple of classes or a block of classes with them. So find out what is on offer in your community. Then the second uh, advice is to keep at it. Keep at it. So don't just limit yourself to the first yoga class that you go to. Try as much as possible to experience different classes with different teachers. So each teacher will have their own unique way of teaching. Some teachers will be more serious, some teachers will be more fun, some teachers will teach a dynamic class and other teachers will be more gentle. Some are more focused on anatomy and some are more focused on um, the spiritual aspect of yoga. Um, and then you have all sorts of combinations of all those things as well. So find a teacher, try out the different teachers in your local community and find a teacher that resonates with you, where you are at your time in life. Um, and then the third is treat each class as a new experience. So just because you had a hard time in the last class doesn't mean that this new class that you will take tomorrow, you will have the same experience. So this is part of yoga as well, being kind and understanding to yourself, ahimsa. So let's talk about the different styles of yoga. There are different forms of yoga. So yoga is not just done as a physical practice, but there's, for example, Raja Yoga, which is meditation. There's Yan Yoga, which is the philosophy side of yoga. There's Bhakti Yoga, which is more of the devotional aspect of yoga. When we say styles of yoga, we're actually referring to the form of yoga that is called Hatha Yoga. And this is all the asana practice, okay? So break it down simply, you're talking about the one hour class where you do all the postures. And um, normally the teacher will write down for easy reference the style. So sometimes we need some explanation of the style. So you've got on one end more dynamic classes and you got on the other end the um, more gentle classes and somewhere around here is all the hybrids of yoga okay so let's talk about the more dynamic yoga so if you are maybe from a sports background if you like your yoga to be a little bit more challenging uh, for the physical body then you're looking for styles that have the following words, okay? So, vinyasa, hatha vinyasa, dynamic, power, um, let's see, ashtanga, okay? Ashtanga vinyasa, and flow yoga, okay? Um, and of course, of course, all of the other adjectives that point to a stronger practice of yoga. When you say vinyasa, this is the Sanskrit word that means flow. And what it means is that the poses are, very simply, what this means is that the poses are connected with the breath. And you move from one pose to the other seamlessly, normally with transitions. So it's more like a dance. When you go to a yoga class that is more of a traditional hatha class, then you are talking about one pose, holding it for some time, normally one to two minutes, and then moving on to the other side of that pose. So you got left, you have right, um, or you move on if the pose doesn't have a right and left, like a forward bend, you just move on to the next pose. And you don't go through a series of transitions or a series of little poses to get to that other pose. On the more gentle side of the spectrum, you have classes like yin yoga, restorative yoga, 
gentle flow. So yin yoga was created by Paul Grilly and Sarah Powers, their husband and wife team. At that time, they found that there was a lot of yoga that was very assertive, more yang. So they wanted to incorporate a yoga where you can relax into the poses and hold the poses longer. So that's key in yin yoga is you hold the poses longer, you work with a cold body, and with time you just allow the muscles to relax and the connective tissue to open. Restorative yoga is a way for you to relax without holding very much muscle tension. So you're talking about using bolsters and blankets in the yoga class where your body is really supported and you can just relax into it. Then there's also yoga nidra. It's one of my favorites. If it's done correctly, it's really freeing and clearing for the mind consciousness. And if you know what shavasana is, that's at the end of every yoga class, you lie down in a corpse pose for with your eyes closed for a few minutes. Well, this is like an extended version of that. Um, you go through each part of the body. The teacher will guide you through each part of the body to relax those muscles. Um, and also sometimes they say some words to free up the consciousness. Sometimes the style of yoga is referring to the teacher who created that style. Say that there is as many styles out there as there are yoga teachers. So I'm curious about what styles of yoga you have tried. Maybe you'd like to share some of them right in the comments below. And also if there are other topics that you'd like to discuss more, think of this as a series opener video, please write in the comments below or you can email me at sunshine at rainbowlightyoga.com. Bye for now. Namaste.